Hello my class 10 students. This is the ICAC class 10 semester 2 sample paper number 3 with its section A solved. Especially for you to understand how to think during the examination, how to write the answers for ICAC class 10 semester 2 examination. Pause the video on a question and solve it and then check your answer with my solution. Okay, so shall we begin? Your question one, choose the correct answers to the questions from the given options. Do not copy the questions, write only the answers. Like for example, question one, 11th is C, which is 90 degrees. So we'll stick to this format. So our question one will be 0, 0,0, 0 is invariant under reflection in. Now 0, 0, is the origin. So, if you reflect it in x-axis and y-axis, it will still remain 0, 0. And so, the correct option is C, both x-axis and y-axis. Second one, the curved surface area of a cylinder having the height 12 cm is 540 cm square. The circumference of its base is. Now, looking at our steps, CSA has been given as 540. So, we write it as 2 pi r h. And then this 2 pi r becomes the circumference. So we put a box around it, bring this 12 that side. So it becomes 540 upon 12. When you cancel it out, 3 4s, 3 will go and 4 1s. So it is 45 centimeter. So that is our B, 45 centimeter. Question 3 In the given figure, AD is the bisector of angle BDE. This is BDE. So if this is 48, this also becomes 48 degrees since AD is the bisector. The value of angle ABC, your ABC will be this angle over here. This angle over here is part of cyclic quadrilateral ABCD and this becomes the exterior angle. So this also becomes 48 degrees. So the option is A48. Question number 4. PQ is the diameter of a circle. P is given as this. Q is given as this. Then the coordinates of the center of the circle is. So it will be your x1 plus x2 upon 2 and y1 plus y2 upon 2. That's the midpoint formula. The center becomes the midpoint of PQ, right? So this will be minus 6 upon 3. That is minus 3. And this will be 14 upon 2. That is 7. So we will have option A, which is minus 3, 7. That's this option A. Now let us look at fourth one. Tan theta upon root of 1 plus tan square theta is equal to, can you see your A, B, C, D over here? Let us see what is our answer. So we write the solution like so. Tan theta upon under root 1 plus tan square theta. Now 1 plus tan square theta will be sec square theta. So this tan theta we write as it is. For this, we write sec square theta root of it, which means it will be uh, sec theta, correct? Now, tan theta is sin theta upon cos theta, and this is sec theta, which you are dividing by. So, you are dividing by 1 upon cos theta, so you will multiply by cos theta upon 1. Cos theta, cos theta gets cancelled, sin theta, which is option C. There, option C. The sixth question, volume of a cone and a cylinder with the same base radius and height are in the ratio. This is the choice which is given. Now cone and a cylinder, they are having same radius and height. So we'll have to show the working. See the working, volume of a cone is to volume of a cylinder. Write the formula. One third pi r square h is the volume of the cone. And for the cylinder, it is pi r square h, correct? So now pi and pi gets cancelled r square and r square get cancelled and h and h also get cancelled and you will have one third is to one which gives you one is to three and that is option b question number seven lines this and this they represent the opposite sides of a square now opposite side of a square they are going to be parallel to each other correct which means the slope of this line and the slope of this they are going to be equal so let us see how we work it out. So our first line was 3y equal to 9x minus 3. So we convert it into the format as y is equal to mx plus c. 
So this is your y here and 3 equals this side. So it will divide here as well as here. So it is 9x upon 3 minus 2 upon 3. That will give us here 3 1s and 3 3s here, 3x. So that gives the slope of the first line which we'll call as m1. The working is not necessary. So you can skip the steps also if you think that the steps are quite simple. So m1 is 3. The second line is 5y equal to kx minus 2. Take this by that side so that you can convert y is equal to mx plus c. So it will be kx upon 5 here and minus 2 upon 5. Now k upon 5 becomes the slope of the second line. Now opposite sides are parallel. So m1 and m2 will be equal. So 3 is equal to k upon 5 cross multiply k equal to 15 which is option D. Look at that option D. We now come to question number 8. The modal class and the median class of the given distribution are respectively and this is the distribution given to us. So A, B, C, D. To begin with, we won't even look at this. We will find out what is modal class. Modal class is the highest frequency occurring class. So we have highest frequency is 25. So 50 dash 60. So can you see 50 dash 60? So either it will be C or D. Now they are asking us for the median class also. So median class, will it be 40 to 50 or 30 to 40? Let's check it out. Okay, so we have written modal class already 50 to 60. Now we just write this because now we have to see the median. For median, we need cumulative frequency. So for the first class interval, this will be 5. Here it will be 5 plus 15, that is 20. Then 20 plus 20, that is 40. 40 plus 15, that is 55. 55 plus 25 is 80 and 80 plus 10 is 90. Now 90 is even, so your median will be 45th term plus 46th term upon 2. How do we get that? Remember the formula is n upon 2th term plus n upon 2 plus 1th term, the whole thing upon 2. So now where is the 45th term? It will be here. 46th term also will be here because till 40 they are here, all the terms. So 41 till 55 terms are sitting in this class interval. So 40 to 50. So it will be 50 to 60 and 40 to 50. That is your option C as I have written here. Let's check it out. Can you see that? 50 to 60 and 40 to 50. That is your option C. Question number 9. Which of the following cannot be the probability of an event? Now 2 fifth is less than. Remember your probability of an event is going to be ranging from 0 to 1. So it will be a fraction, a positive fraction which is less than 1. But it cannot be negative number and it cannot be greater than 1. Now this is possible 15% 15 is 15 upon 100 which is 0.15 is less than 1. But 3 by 2 is 1.5. Can we have probability greater than 1? No. So this will be the option. This obviously is a fraction less than 1. Let us come to the 10th question of section A. This is the last question of the MCQs of section A. Okay. So your interquartile range. What is interquartile range? It is Q3 minus Q1. What is Q3? It is 3n upon 4th term minus n upon 4th term. So where is it? 3 fourths observation minus n upon 4. So can you see the subtraction also? Yes. So b is the option. Here you can have the same thing but here the, the sign here is plus so you cannot take this. This one is wrong. Okay. So the option is b. Of course 11th question was the example question which we do not have to copy. So we do not look at this. Now we have finished with our section A. Now section B, I'm going to solve question two, then question three, and question number six, okay? But that will be another video because this video will become too long. So we stop here. I hope you have understood how to solve the paper, 
how to solve the MCQs of section A which are for 10 marks and I hope that you are practicing everything properly. All the best for your examinations. I'll see you in the next video very soon. Bye.